Do you know that one in three American adults is at risk of developing kidney disease and one in nine already has it? That's about 37 million people in the U.S. alone. Your kidneys are vital organs that filter out waste and toxins from your blood. But did you know that what you eat can have a huge impact on your kidney health? Some foods can help protect your kidneys and prevent further damage, while others can strain your kidneys, worsen your condition, and increase your risk of complications. In this video, we will reveal the 10 worst foods that could be further damaging your kidneys without you knowing about it. You might be surprised that some of your daily foods might be on the list. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Pickles. Pickles are crunchy, tangy, and delicious, but they are also very high in sodium. Sodium is a mineral that helps regulate fluid balance and blood pressure in your body. However, if you have kidney disease, your kidneys may not be able to remove excess sodium from your blood. This can cause fluid retention, swelling, and high blood pressure, which can put extra strain on the kidneys. According to the National Kidney Foundation, people with kidney disease should limit their sodium intake to less than 2,300 mg per day. One medium pickle can have up to 800 mg of sodium, which is more than a third of your daily limit. Therefore, it is best to avoid pickles and other foods that are high in sodium, such as canned soups, processed meats, cheese, and salty snacks. Number 2. Avocado Avocados are creamy, delicious, and nutritious. They are great for making guacamole, salads, sandwiches, and smoothies. But did you know that avocados can be very harmful for people with kidney disease? You see, avocados are high in potassium, which is a mineral that helps regulate fluid balance, nerve signals, and muscle contractions. Potassium is vital for your health, but too much of it can cause problems if your kidneys are not working well. This is because your kidneys are responsible for filtering out excess potassium from your blood and excreting it in your urine. But when you have kidney disease, your kidneys may not be able to do this job efficiently. This can lead to high levels of potassium in your blood, which is a condition called hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia can cause serious complications such as irregular heartbeat, muscle weakness, nausea, and even cardiac arrest. That's why people with kidney disease need to limit their intake of high potassium foods like avocados. The National Kidney Foundation advises people with kidney disease to limit their potassium intake to less than 2,000 mg per day. According to the USDA, one average sized avocado provides about 690 mg of potassium. That means one avocado would take up more than a third of your daily allowance. So what can you do if you have kidney disease and crave avocados? Well, a good tip is to leach some of the potassium out of the avocado by soaking it in water before eating it. To do this, peel and chop the avocado and place it in a bowl of water for two hours. Then drain the water and use the avocado as desired. This may reduce the potassium content by up to 50%. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number 3. Red Meat Do you love eating red meat? If you do, you might want to think twice before you order your next steak or burger. Red meat is very high in protein, especially animal protein. When you eat too much protein, your body produces more urea, which is a waste product that your kidneys have to filter out. If you have kidney disease, urea can accumulate in your blood and cause symptoms like nausea, fatigue, and itching. Red meat also contains purines, which are substances that break down into uric acid in your body. High levels of uric acid can form crystals in your kidneys and cause kidney stones, which can block the flow of urine and damage your kidneys. Kidney stones can also increase the risk of urinary tract infections, which can worsen kidney function. Other than that, red meat is rich in saturated fat and cholesterol, which can clog the arteries that supply blood to your kidneys. This can reduce the blood flow and oxygen delivery to your kidneys and cause renal artery disease, a condition that can lead to kidney failure. A study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology followed more than 60,000 adults in Singapore for an average of 15 years. The researchers found that those who ate the largest amounts of red meat had a 40% higher risk of developing kidney failure than those who ate the least. Number 4. Spinach 
You probably have heard before that you should avoid spinach if you have kidney disease, but why is that? Well, that is because spinach is rich in potassium, which can be harmful to you if you have kidney disease like how we explained, but more importantly, it is high in oxalates, which are compounds that can form kidney stones in some people. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that can block the flow of urine and damage the kidney tissue. If you have a history of calcium oxalate stones, you may need to avoid foods that are high in oxalates, such as spinach and Swiss chard. So what can you do if you love spinach and want to enjoy its health benefits? Well, try to choose cooked spinach over raw spinach. Cooked spinach has less potassium and oxalates than raw spinach because some of them are lost in the cooking water. Number 5. Banana. If you have kidney disease, you might want to think twice before grabbing a bunch of bananas from the supermarket. Bananas are very high in potassium, which can be very hard for your kidneys to get rid of and can lead to hyperkalemia, which is the condition we talked about earlier. So, how much potassium is in a banana? A medium-sized banana contains about 422 milligrams of potassium, which is about 21% of the daily limit for people with chronic kidney disease. That means one banana can take up a big chunk of your potassium allowance for the day. And if you eat more than one banana or other high potassium foods like potatoes, tomatoes, avocados, oranges, or dried fruits, you can easily go over your limit and put yourself at risk of hyperkalemia. But wait, there's more. Bananas are also high in phosphorus, another mineral that can be harmful for your kidneys. Your kidneys normally remove excess phosphorus from your blood, but if they're not working well, phosphorus can build up and cause complications like bone loss and calcification of soft tissues like your blood vessels and heart valves. Number 6. Soda. Soda is not only bad for your teeth, your weight, and your blood sugar, but can also be very harmful to your kidneys. Soda contains phosphoric acid, which is a chemical that gives soda its tangy flavor and prevents mold and bacteria growth. Phosphoric acid can be harmful for your kidneys, especially if you have chronic kidney disease. Phosphoric acid can increase the levels of calcium and uric acid in your urine, which can lead to kidney stones. Phosphoric acid can also affect the pH balance of your body and impair your kidney function. Number 7. Dairy Products Dairy products are high in protein, phosphorus, and potassium. These are all nutrients that your body needs, but your kidneys may not be able to handle them if they are damaged. Too much protein can make your kidneys work harder and cause more waste to build up in your blood. Too much phosphorus can weaken your bones and cause itching and joint pain. And too much potassium can affect your heart rhythm and cause muscle weakness. Some dairy products have more protein, phosphorus, and potassium than others. For example, one cup of whole milk has 8 grams of protein, 233 milligrams of phosphorus, and 366 milligrams of potassium. While one ounce of cheddar cheese has 7 grams of protein, 145 milligrams of phosphorus, and 28 milligrams of potassium. So what can you do if you love dairy but have kidney disease? You don't have to give up dairy completely, but you may need to limit how much and how often you have it. You may also need to choose lower-fat options, as some studies suggest that high-fat dairy may increase the risk of kidney disease progression. Number 8. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a delicious and nutritious fruit that can be eaten raw or cooked. However, if you have kidney disease, especially in the later stages, you may need to limit or avoid tomatoes because of their high potassium and phosphorus content. One cup of cooked tomatoes has about 800 milligrams of potassium and 111 milligrams of phosphorus, while one cup of tomato sauce has about 900 milligrams of potassium and 146 milligrams of phosphorus. As you can see, tomatoes can quickly add up to your daily limit of these minerals. Number 9. Oranges. Oranges are delicious and nutritious fruits that are rich in vitamin C, fiber, and antioxidants. They can help boost your immune system, lower your blood pressure and cholesterol, and prevent scurvy. But they also contain a lot of potassium, which can be harmful for people with kidney disease like how we explained. So, how much potassium is in an orange? According to the USDA, one medium orange has about 237 milligrams of potassium 
That's about 10% of the limit you should stay under if you have kidney disease. And if you drink orange juice, you'll get even more potassium. One cup of orange juice has about 496 milligrams of potassium. That's more than 20% of the recommended daily limit. So does that mean you should avoid oranges and orange juice altogether? Well, not necessarily. Some studies have shown that citrus fruits like oranges can actually lower your risk of kidney stones by increasing the citrate in your urine, which prevents calcium from crystallizing. The key is to eat oranges in moderation and balance them with other low-potassium foods. Just limit them to one or two servings per week and avoid drinking orange juice or eating processed foods that contain orange flavoring or additives. Number 10. Processed Meats Processed meats are any meats that have been preserved, cured, smoked, salted, or added with chemical preservatives. Examples of processed meats include bacon, ham, salami, sausages, hot dogs, canned meat, and deli slices. Processed meats are bad for your kidneys for several reasons. First of all, they are high in sodium, which can raise your blood pressure and damage your kidneys over time. Secondly, processed meats are high in phosphorus, which is a mineral that your kidneys have trouble filtering when they are damaged, like what we said. And finally, processed meats are high in animal protein, which produces a lot of acid in your blood, which can make your kidneys work harder to balance your pH levels. So how much processed meat should you eat if you have kidney disease? The answer is as little as possible. The World Health Organization recommends limiting processed meat intake to less than 50 grams per day, which is about two slices of bacon or one hot dog. However, if you have kidney disease, you may need to limit your protein intake even more, depending on your stage and lab results. So, there you have it. These were the 10 foods you need to avoid or limit if you have kidney disease. Always remember that your diet plays a key role in your kidney health, so make sure you consult your doctor or dietitian before making any changes. And don't forget to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you eat some of these foods regularly? Did you know that they were harming your kidneys before watching the video? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.